I'll just tell us right now. Don't go to the city and serve. Let's get it out of the way. One more from there. Alright, how the time is it out? Um. Okay, yeah, let's get into the plot. Um. After Star says, Miss, this is Bala. Miss Bala. Um. Uh. Is going into Henry's house. With Henry, I believe. And then Miss Bala is going together. All because. All because Henry just keeps m losing his letters. You know, letters by sent to his parents. He, I, he just lost them. So that's. So it's an um, opportunity time for Miss Barlax to go face to face with them. You know, Miss Barlax, ever heard of, of something called a parent evening? Or a meeting with a parent in general? You could have scheduled that. <laughs> and it's a funny line. Anyway, what do you say? It wasn't me. Oh, get in the house, anyway. <laughs> well, if you didn't do it, then who did? Was it Miss Balax's fault the whole time? Mm hmm. Hmm. Um. Um. What do you mean so late? I mean, time is from. What time does time usually come from school? Back come home. Um. Um, it'll be like, um, a 3 p.m. 3 p.m. in the, 3 in the afternoon. So, why are you saying you're late? Anyways, maybe just after that. Miss Park's putting it down or something, I don't know. Okay, so. Okay, so it is revealed that they're going to a fancy restaurant. I do like the, I do like the camera angles. With Henry saying, What do you mean? And Peter's like saying, We're going to a grown up fancy restaurant. And apparently, kids will find it too. What? Um. Yeah, Henry. Yeah, you should. Well, um, can I clarify important? Even though you're going to a fancy restaurant, you still should keep your child in their room. But if he's like 10 or something, then you have to take him with him to say, you know, children at the age, uh, age of 10, like, can't be left on the road. Therefore, she'll be like, Eddie. Never mind. After the tarot cards, Henry is messing around, like, he refuses to go. And Ian drops the card keys on the laboratory, I should say. And then, well, surprise, surprise, they have an extra car key. So, they are going. And Richard will be in the stack of Steve will be there. And oh, this is the period nobody will care about, but. Um, it's not very important to say the current Steve will be there too. Too. Um, if Richard Ruby is going, then all all should get a bit of stick of Steve. And again, nobody will care about that. I'm sorry. Oh, and yeah. Um, I forgot to mention that. Uh, that Henry's dad made a deal that if he had everything on his place, uh, he gets two pounds. Which, um, also reminds me, um, yeah, I love food, all except the squid. Also, my, um, um, Peter doesn't like beach food, Mum doesn't like squid, Dad doesn't like tomorrow. Seriously, that's it? You only dislike one food? S seriously, you can't have, what's going to be some other food you don't like? I mean, everyone must like food. I mean, there should be at least a few foods that people don't like. Um, Whopper, Whoopies? I mean, I guess it's gonna be like a fast food restaurant with burgers and that. 
Um, but Wapa Wapi it sounds too extreme for a um restaurant. I mean, I know it's a fast food rest fast food main restaurant, fast food restaurant. But I mean, look at McDonald's or KFC or Pizza Hut or um Burger King. Do those names sound extreme to you? So why do you call it Whopper Whoopie then? Like, I guess too generic, too extreme for a um fast food restaurant. And do you guys remember Stick Up Steve and Rachel Judy from Holiday Christmas? I just foreshadowed in the earlier minutes. And we get a little another flashback to one of Henry's experience with Steve. And this is kind of a racist thing. Like I'll show you right here. Um, um like uh Steve says in the book. Like it's sort of a bit racist to me. I mean, it's black with a red nose. Like, um, you could argue that he doesn't have bad lips, so it doesn't racist. But it kind of looks racist, to me at least. I mean, with black skin, it looks racist to me. Um, let's go back. Let's go back. Um, what's next? Um, which, okay, we arrive at the restaurant, and... We'll also have the question now. Uh, which one will be say, How long will Lemus look the same? Like, that makes me a question. How many limos do you own exactly? Like, why do you need all those limos? You only need one. I mean, just because you're rich doesn't mean you have to buy any more. You just only figure out no one cares about. They are in the restaurant, and. Yeah, and. And then we are getting introduced to Miss Balax's mother. And um I didn't think teachers had mothers. Well, of course teachers had mothers. How well saw the teachers are born, Henry? Like how are the teachers born without mothers? Like I mean yeah. I don't think Henry this doesn't know sex education yet. And 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 I must say that uh, Miss Bellax and it, her mother is so hilarious in this episode. Um, um Okay, they get the menu and Oh what this all we get in class. Funny line, um mother. Stop shouting. Don't tell me I'm shouting. I'll tell you if I'm shouting. <laughs> I'm like, I'm kind of like that sometimes. Like, my mom told me, hey, my friend told me, hey, don't shout. Like, what do you mean I'm shouting? I'll tell you if I'm shouting. But, I'm not always like that, but sometimes, like, some of those just different, like, um, like, don't tell me to read. I'll tell you to read. It's something like that. Okay, they get the menus, and I did like the expressions on the parents' face when we are trying to be speaking in French. And if I have another problem, if you say hamburger and chips are on the lunch menu, and you say you don't open for lunch, then what's the point of having a lunch menu if you're not open for lunch? Some of um, some of questions can be raised in this episode. Steve dares to save bleh, Steve dares Henry to eat snails and try, which is sheep intestine. Yeah, you have to mention that, didn't you? Which is oh, actually snails is escargot is French for snails, by the way, and try is French for sheep intestine. Like, you know, someone eat want to eat the sheep intestine. Ugh. Like. And I forgot to mention, I'm going to show you Peter's face right here. Look. Look at it. 
written all over them. It, we clearly know that Peter is a happy, happy, blonde, curly head, um, goody two shoes, idiot, naive little boy. It's written all over him. Look at that face. I am oh my god. That is rubbish. Henry eats the snails and tastes like chewing gum, which he ate earlier in the car. And I do like Steve's expression when I was like, What is Steve? It's so scrumptious. I do like that expression. And all but two pounds. Yay, it's not enough. <laughs> okay, Henry is like getting up and walking towards Miss Bellex and her mother. And we get a little um, fun dialogue from them. Like, Booty Cat, stop slipping. By the way, uh, Miss Bellex's real name is Booty Cat, by the way. Never mind. Um, Booty Cat, stop slipping. Yes, mother. And eat your vegetables. Yes, mother. Henry? <laughs> I, that, that makes me laugh. It's a, it's a hilarious in this episode. Um, good evening, miss. Oh, I hope you have a pleasant dinner. I'm being nice to you so I don't embarrass your mother. And I this is another funny expression. I'm gonna again okay, I'm gonna show you it. Um the two. Um okay. That? Like what kind of face is that? Let's take a puppet or something. Like my my, I don't do it like that. It was it's really not like that. Well. Then Henry's up to his old tricks and tells the chef. Well, the, he told the waiter and the waiter told telling the chef that his cousin really likes play session and at least five drops because the chef. Told the other chef not to put in only put in two drops, so it wouldn't upset the English Thomas. I didn't say that right. Um Yep, Steve eats the tried and I think was a thing more. Oh uh, wait a minute, um and um I also do all their favourites. No sorry, um they get to all the dislikes. Mum got the squid. Peter got the beetroot. Dad got the tomato. Are you sure there's actually French things? Mm -hmm. Um, beetroot is French. I say squid is French, but tomatoes are French or tomatoes are... Tom tomatoes are French. Mm hmm? And... Yeah. It's like, the thing is that... Odds will be all the best here. It's like saying they're actually trying too hard to. It's like saying the the food of so the food is so bad and it's good. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um. Steve eats um the, the spicy stuff. And then because of the turns the restaurant out of control, and and yep and. They're permanently banned from the restaurant. And guess where they go? Off to work, please. Maybe guess what he's won. So that is Henry, Ford Henry Eats House. And this is a pretty likeable episode. I mean, it's set in a French restaurant, which is something I'm recently to watch in TV shows like this. Like an old episode about the French restaurant. And uh, a few funny faces like um, Peter's face expression and um, Hen um, Miss Balax's mother face face. And while I'm talking about her, the best friend about this episode, hands down, Miss Balax and her mother. That is hilarious. The rest of the episode is going to be in the description. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Thank you.